So I think that Babel is significant enough to warrant its own discussion because of all the expansions for this game, this to me is the most divisive mm -hmm. and the most expensive, probably. Yeah. Uh, leaders, it, uh, leaders and cities are probably still in print. So yeah. The thing that the, the core of why this becomes a separate discussion is because, as I was saying in the video we did earlier, when I was watching a review with Tom Vassell, or it was, uh, or I say it was top ten or whatever, I think it might have just been like a game discussion yeah. on it or whatever. And he was saying both components of the expansion are good, but he would never play them together. And I was like, oh, maybe he's just, maybe it's just like his opinion on it. Like, well, it is just his opinion, but maybe it's just sort of his way of playing the game. But when we then came to play Babel with both the Babel itself and the Great Works. I found the game too big for mm. what it was. Just, it's I, too I big, Mark. What's that no, from? Is that from Sigma? That. I don't know. But the, I it think, is. and it seems to be the opinion that is shared by most of us in the group. I'm not sure about you guys. Mm. I know mm. that me, Sean and Matt definitely feel this. You play the game with either the tower or the great works. You don't play with both. So we should say so. for Gary Smith, how you play Babel? Do you want to do this? Yeah. So again, um, it introduces a uh, a new drafting part at the start of the game. Wrong components. Time. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Yes. Come on and drop. Yes. <sighs> where <laughs> where you draft again? Four, isn't it? It's four. Yeah. It doesn't. It just say a number. It doesn't matter. You draft those tiles. Yeah. Baby yeah. Tile. Yeah. You draft. <laughs> yeah. You draft four tiles. You draft some baby tiles. Yeah. Um, or three. No, you draft three tiles. It right? doesn't matter. It does. Okay. Um, yeah, you draft three tiles. Something beeped. I think it was my iPad. Oh. Um, I put the rules in the Yeah, you draft three tiles. And you can play those tiles at any point in the game, can't you? Don't let him Instead just, of a car. Instead of a car. Don't let him just wait you out it. Keep going. Yeah. Instead of a car. And a tile that is... Three. I got it right. Uh, a tile that is placed down on the tower of Babel will score you points at the end of the game for every one that you have played. But more importantly, during the game and during the time that it is face up and visible, um, it adds on an extra overarching rule for the entire table. Now, we can we really illustrate something. So keep going. Okay. So these rules... Oh, that's very confusing. They're practically the same. Yeah. These <laughs> rules can be anything from... Um, Have <laughs> fun! Yeah. From paying extra money, uh, or things being... Ch or for resources, or resources being cheaper. Um, vi uh, military victory points being lessened. Split resources is Split resource. not occurring. Most important one. Yeah. Yellow buildings don't, don't do work. Anything. Yeah, don't do anything. Um, you have to pay a cost based on the age to build buildings of a certain colour. Yeah, chain building costs. Chain building off your neighbours. Uh, you can't chain build. There's 24 yeah. different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and when they are face, when when they are face up, when when they're visible, the, when they're face up and visible on the board, they are active. When they are covered, bum, 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 they no, no, be, they no longer be, become active. Yes. Yeah. So as but as you place them place them round on the board. Um, there can be three or four visible, depending on the number of yeah. players you're playing with. Um, and then once three are down, if you're playing with small numbers, once the, three are down, the next one, the next one will cover o cover up the first one, thus making it inactive yeah. and enacting a new so one. So the game changes um, as you play it, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it it does add another another level of complexity to it. Like this discussion, having to hold up these tiles was. Very complex. Yes. I know, it's a component breakdown. Drag and strike, but It does add another level of complexity to it. I, I, I quite like it because, that, again, it's another thing that you can build your game around. Mm. It's like, hey, I've got these tiles. I've got the tile that uh, means split resources don't work at all anymore. So I'm not going to build any split resources the entire game and drop this in the middle of the second age Kaboom. to really hurt people. You're all um, screwed. Yeah. Or, it's definitely like taking it from sort of oh, splits and moderate all work. the way up mm -hmm. to sort of advanced level seven wonders when you get to yeah. that point. Yeah. Because suddenly what you're doing affects 
everybody at the table. Yeah, like people talked Sorry. about, like most people's biggest criticism of Seven Wonders relates to its the interaction. interaction. Yeah. And Babel says, "You want interaction? <laughs> I'll give you interaction. <laughs> Everyone's gonna play by my rule." Um, ah, so good. Yeah, I mean, and, 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 already every game is different in Seven Wonders. Yeah. A bit different, but with Babel, it's like. Hella different, and you can't eggs and basket like you yeah. can in earlier editions of Seven Wonders. Like, I'm just gonna in, in original Seven Wonders with yeah. no expansions, it's like military, and then in this one, it's like it, it oh, deals with another it? problem that you can sometimes get with Babel, where and I'm guilty of this as well people will try and play a similar game every time yeah. because you know, like Matt, for example, in our group will always try and play the black game if he can. Uh, some people will always try and play the green game. Yeah. I tend to veer towards sort of yellow and sort of economy based games and stuff like that. So this adds that extra element to it where you can have that little bit of a screw you in there because if you find a tile and you know who you're playing with yeah. at the table in that sort of built up meta almost side of things, yeah. you look at the game and think, oh well, I know that he's really well. You, you can never truly it, tell completely. But yeah. it helps you to be one of those things where, like, maybe I do take that science one. Just because it might help mm. as the yeah. game goes on, because people tend to leave yeah. science. Well, as a, as the label is more about yeah. punishing people for the way that they've played the game, whereas leaders are more about playing the game you want yeah. to play. Yeah. So that's yeah. why leaders, you can... You, you Which know, is why it's is, interesting to have leaders and Babel in, because you plan a way to play the game, and then you can then take the tiles to either aid you, no, but that screws people it's over. It's Babel first, you take Babel then first. leaders. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. And, tiles, and, but, and that's so really so important, right. because then you can... Yeah, because there's much less decision making with your Babel tiles. And you're you're much less pressured to play them and utilise them right, yeah. than you are other aspects of the game. Yeah. But then the other expansion that comes in Babel, which yes. you've got to feel for, because the main expansion, the game expansion is called Babel, and, it, and then there's another expansion in there. Well, technically, Babel is a great work, and they are the great works, aren't they? Yes. yes. So, yeah. so yeah. are the great works. Um, which are probably the easier of the it's ones to shot. understand. A cue card. Uh, so one. Again. One. <laughs> so what happens to these? As these are placed on the table. There's one each age, um, and so sticky. Is it again? Is it instead of playing a card? Yeah. You, no, 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 no. So when when you play a card, play a card that, that matches yes. the colour of the grand project, and you pay the, and and you pay the contribution, yeah. you take a contribution yeah. token, yeah. and at the end of the round, if it's if it's complete, which means all the contribution tokens have been taken off, which are equal to the number of players minus one, yeah. then everyone gets the reward. Everyone who's contributed. Everyone gets the reward for every contribution yes. token they have. So if I did it all myself, I get it all. Mm -hmm. And if we all did a bit, except one of us, we all get a bit. Mm -hmm. And then if it fails, if you have contributed to any level, you don't suffer a penalty, but you don't get a reward. But if you didn't contribute and it fails, you have to suffer the penalty. And these are always, essentially, you lose a card of this type, isn't it? Or, uh, or lose yeah. money. There's all sorts. Lose money, lose victory points, yes. lose... Yeah. Yeah, it's bad news bears. The, thing, the thing that I think Babel has over the Great Works is, and I actually probably prefer the Great Works, I'd, I'd say. But oh, I'd be shocked if you said that you didn't. You definitely prefer the Great Works. No. But um, Babel is effectively quite a clean expansion, like an, a clean bit of DLC that slots into the game, mm. because it doesn't affect really the table space overly too much you have the, obviously the little thing in the middle but it doesn't overly s screw up the sort of dynamic of how things are played whereas the great works come with this massive bag of tokens and you've got all sorts of different things you need to put down on the table there are suddenly a lot, the there real are estate more tokens i'll give you that the yeah. stuff that is suddenly added to the game once you put the great mm, works yeah. I, I would have said like yeah. the complete opposite of what you're saying like the presence of this in the middle of a seven wonders table is huge. No, but like, like in ter there is, you can be a lot of clutter in a game of Seven Wonders, especially yeah, when you start to build the tile. Yeah. But the Babel tile itself keeps everything within one place. All the great work stuff, you have to put them all out on the table. You've got to then hand out tokens to people that are on pull onto their boards. So then, you, you know, when you're looking at people's boards, you might see lots more weird tokens mm. on there, and you'd be like, "What's that one?" kind of thing, stuff like that. And I don't, I don't. Not you're making like it sound like a bad thing. You like. 
the Great Works. No, I do. I do right. like the Great Works, but I can point out a negative in it as well oh, because yeah. you know you can never like you never like anything hundred percent. So <laughs> you are hundred percent. Well, thank you very much. Nice to meet Tom Cameron. Oh, now, like a but seventy. The thing I really, uh, the thing I do like about I'll the Great Works is it feels like it's adding a little bit more to it to make it more like a sieve, more like a sort of AG Empires grand strategy style game. Mm. Because it adds in that extra thing that everybody's kind of working to in like the the LAN, you know, in the party, in the game you're playing. But then you get something out of it a little bit more than other players. A little bit like the, um, what's it called? The in? Wonders. The, 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 the shared the World's World Fair. Wonders. The World's Fair and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the Olympic Civ. Games. Yeah, yeah. Like stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah no, feels no, like that. And it's got that nice little aspect to it that I think is quite fun. Yeah. And yeah. I love the idea that... I'm just going to contribute to this and continue to build into it. And then it, when it gets really low, suddenly people will be more encouraged to do it. Yeah. And then you're yeah. like, oh, well, perfect. Now I'm going to get loads out of it. The interesting kind of thing with so. the grand projects is that, again, it encourages you to go in a direction that you might not normally go. Hey, I wasn't going to play a science card this round, but the grand project is science. And I have full so money spent. I may as well yeah. contribute yeah. to it. Oh, well, I've ended up playing the science yeah. game that I didn't expect to yeah. play. Yeah. And it can be a real bugger if like, you wanted to play the science game and then yeah. suddenly... A science grand project comes up, and now everyone's got a damn good reason to take yes. your science cards. Um, now, I would say that both the grand projects and Babel, one of the things that I think is quite jarring for people, and this is the flip side of the interaction that people criticise Seven Wonders for, is like you said about Seven Wonders, you're like a city state, mm -hmm. right? Whereas in Babel uh, with the grand and, the, and with the grand projects. It, to my mind, it's more like you're part of, like, Rome, right? And your different factions within Rome vying for power. Like, oh, well, we'll build this part of the Pantheon. That means from now on, well, it's meant to... you can't worship that. Yeah. And, oh, we will contribute to this aqueduct. Isn't our house grand? And so, actually, what it's doing is it's all pulling you in rather than... Well, it's meant to play into the myth of Babel, isn't it? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, but so like, for instance, with the grand projects, thematically, it makes economy. no sense. The grand projects, like, who cares that like there's a there's a mirror that's being built somewhere? Like, yeah, that shouldn't matter at all. But it it, it closes the game it, down, which is really cool. But I think, jars I, think with the theme I think the grand projects are meant to represent technology or an event that is then taken up by multiple civilizations. It's not um, one great right. set of like mirrors. You have gone, ah, this new technology, we will now build the mirrors on our walls, but this person built a much better version of that so they get more benefit from it, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, well, you see, yeah, so. and now I think that would work if it were done the way you just said, like it was a technology. Yeah. Like, I think that would have kept the theme of Seven Wonders more so than the Grand Projects, because I think the Grand Projects, like, if you look at the Babel board, all the Grand Projects are around Babel, mm. um, and I think that it's quite, like, I almost feel that this expansion was built for a game called Seven Romes, right, where you were seven it's different to, factions it's meant, to, it's meant to almost take it beyond the realms of a, this is a game about historical civilizations, to that almost slightly semi-mythological level, mm. uh, where you have that it, yeah. sort of, this is that's the that's grandest that's city on I, earth I, we have all contributed yeah, I, don't, I don't feel that it makes it God's smaller. Gods have worked. As well, if it was sacrificing yeah. to a god. I, 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 don't, I don't feel it makes, it's made it any smaller. If anything, I feel like, right, well, this is a city-state, and the world has come together in, in beautiful celebration, <laughs> and, we're, yeah. Yeah, and we're sending off our best and brightest engin en Babel. engineers to, to work on this grand Titanic. project, which is Babel. Yeah. Like, that's what it feels to me. Mm. Yeah, I know. But go, really going back that. to an earlier point that we were talking about, it's like, nice that, that, I've, that I bought it yeah. at the beginning, though. I am of the opinion that you don't play Seven Wonders with both of these. What about... Um, I, you I'm... You play one or the other, in my mind. Yeah, I... I That's I'm, what you're going to do when we play with both. <laughs> I'm happy to play with both. Um, I, I do agree it makes the game more advanced, and so the more... Casual gamers amongst us might find it a little too much, mm. considering of ha considering how we look at Seven Wonders as, you know, a, oh hey let's play Seven Wonders we got half hour, like and yeah, then, it, 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 and importantly you do that and then you go let's play Seven Wonders again, again yeah whereas every time I think we've played with the Grand Projects or Babel we've probably only played it once and then gone it, hmm. it for me it, it does make it 
it, it does expand the game and make it a little longer. Almost a little bit more of a feature than a, a sort of standard. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, but I'm happy to play with both. I'm happy to play with one or the other. Mm-hmm. Um, it like uh, for me, I just like what it does to the game. I, I like what right. both essentially modules, for want of a better word, do to the game. Um, and I think you can play with them both. Mm-hmm. Yes, it makes the game more advanced, but I quite like that because there's more going on. There's more to think about. It's just nice to have the options, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's like something in, as we mentioned before, a video game. I'll turn this on this time kind yeah. of thing. So yeah. It's what all the things in some point are great at doing. Yeah. Like, I'll just put this in, and then at some point you'll realise, these are the things I really like, I'll just always play with these. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. What about you? Uh, both. Uh, I like that it makes Southern Wonders more complex, because played Southern Wonders enough times that... Vanilla, like basic Seven Wonders, is way too basic. Ex- like cities and leaders, expand it to a, an interesting level. Um, now, I think Babel, with both the things, is a very complicated game, and there's loads to consider. But I also think that's that's where, uh, for me, Seven Wonders is at its like second most pleasurable is when it's that complex. Which is a, which of the two do you prefer, though? I think that they that they. I prefer Babel because I find playing the same game of anything very, very dull. Um, so having constant re, re like having forcing agendas. people to play their game yeah. differently, like mm. split resource cards are just good in Seven Wonders. Yeah. There is no reason, to my mind, not to play them. Whereas in Babel, they are not an automatic decision. The yellow cards, the caravansary is just a play me card in original Seven Wonders, which is terrible in a draft mm-hmm. game, really. Um, but in Babel, it's not a no-brainer. In basic Seven Wonders, the military game is just good, but not in Babel. Or it's even better in Babel, and that helps it because it's taken a big hit from the cities. You know, mm-hmm. So it, all the expansions make the game a little bit more complex, but Babel adds a ton of complexity, like to a... Almost making the game like Caverna complicated, um, and I think that's what's disrupted it for some people. Is people go into Seven Wonders expecting it to be a certain level of complexity, and Babel changes it completely. If they'd made a new game called uh, Rome, the Pantheon, right, which was a lot like Seven Wonders but had the grand projects and Babel built into a massive board into the middle of the table. I think people would have said, wow, Antoine Bowser's really done something here. But I think you've added too many, you've added a, a wider tier onto a narrow cake and people can't handle that. And that's fine. Mm-hmm. I don't criticise people for it. But for me, that just makes a, a game I love better and more complicated. 